Hello, and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm Yos Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about a Netflix anime called Magmail. It's a different kind of anime. Um, I saw it. I saw the trailer, and I just wanted to check it out. Basically, 35 years ago, a new continent appears, um, and just like people, they go explore it. They're looking to become rich. You have people who are adventurers. They're trying to find any new thing about you know the the continent they trying to find species they trying to find gold and riches and stuff like that so for all the adventurers they have they have these people called anglers and they go rescue people because the continent is pretty dangerous there's a lot of wild animals there's poisonous things it's a very big continent they have it zoned off in different zones and stuff like that each zone has a specific thing like one zone is like very poisonous so the main character is Inyo, Mr. Inyo. That's what he goes by. Um, he's like a legendary angler. He rescues people all the time. And of course, he charges for it. Um, he has his sidekick named Zero. And she she accompanies him on the trip, but she like controls like a robot. So she stays back at base and then she controls like a robot who helps him, who scouts and stuff like that. So anglers are the search and rescue specialists. And then the latchers, latchers they they are they create things they have the ability to analyze the structure and manipulate matter meaning if they let's say have a ball and they can analyze the ball and they put the ball away then later on they can make a ball appear out of anywhere so inyo is both he's a latcher and he's an angler so that's how he's able to find people that's how he's able to fight the the creatures that's on you know, on the continent. And at first they don't really explain a lot. Like the word latcher is mentioned in the first episode and Inyo sounds surprised. Like he doesn't know what it is, but he's one. So they don't like the, the show fails to give you enough backstory. I think um, it's not a lot of episodes. I think it's like 13 episodes and each episode is just, it reminds you of like a, a sitcom or something. It just, he's he's looking for work and somebody comes to him hey i need you to rescue this person he talks them into how much money he wants to get paid and then you know he goes to the island rescues the person and that's how each episode you it usually goes you run across there are some reoccurring characters who are funny and silly and they own right i think around episode six that's when you get a flashback of a young inyo and his mentor and you see a little bit about him and that makes the show more interesting. But for the most part, it's just the each episode is like, what adventure are we going to go on today? It's not really building towards anything until episode 11. I think that's when the the villain is really introduced. Um, I think he goes by the Baron and he's trying to. He manipulates like children and he's trying to be a lactor himself. Like he's trying to give them abilities and then take their the abilities away. So he's trying to find a way to get more power. And you really, you don't know where he comes from. Uh, Zero has like different nightmares and, you know, stuff like that. And you see his character, but he doesn't show up until like episode 11. And then that gives you more backstory on both Inyo and Zero. Because then you start getting more flashbacks in episode 11, 12, 13. And you can see how they met each other and the relationship that they have, why it's so special, and why they work well together. And that's the way the story ends is on a good note. It's on a high note. And it has you looking forward to like a, a season two because you start getting more information about the characters and about Inyo and like, you know, what he can do and what Zero can do and why she can do, you know, why she can use her abilities. Um, Magmel, it's... It's an all right series. Uh, I would say give it a try if you're if you're into anime. Again, it's not going to always be fantastic battles or anything. The way Inyo uses his powers is pretty cool because he can just bring things. He can manipulate things. He has he has a sword or he has like these big gloves that come out and hit people. He can create boxes. He jumps around. He's a pretty good fighter, um, but he doesn't really encounter anybody super strong until he fights the Baron. So don't expect. A bunch of battles and everything like that. Um, it's cheesy uh, dialogue. Some of it is funny. Um, they later on have that perverted anime humor that you see in certain shows uh, like Seven Deadly Sins, but it's not too much. Um, but the show is 
it's all right for the most part. I would say uh, check it out again if you're an anime fan. It's called Magmail. It's on Netflix. Thank you for listening. Deuces.